Tissam Harama lies 250 kilometers from Colombo and is in the extreme southern part of Sri Lanka. Around the massive Tissavava irrigation tank lies four major dagabas or ancient stupas all shaping the look of the landscape. The word stupa or dagaba is sometimes referred to as vehra in Sinhalese and they are the Tissamaharama stupa, Yatala vehra, Manik vehra and the Sandagiri stupa. We start with the Tissamaharama stupa, the largest in the southern part of Sri Lanka. Though probably not the oldest, it was built to commemorate Lord Buddha's visit to the area. The Buddha spent time meditating with 500 Arahant monks. King Kavantisa then built the stupa following the instructions of the Buddhist clergy. The stupa has a bubble shape and is located on a square terrace which was created with granite stone. The stupa was renovated at different times by kings in the 1st century, 3rd century and 11th century. More recently in 1858, through the efforts of Vepa Thaira Sumana Thero, the Tissamaharama stupa was restored again. 16 years of effort saw the gabel restored and after his death the monk Walpita Medankara Thero completed the restoration of the Hatharas Kotua The pinnacle of the stupa was ceremoniously placed in 1900 and the work completed in 1915 According to the Mahavamsa the frontal bone relic of the Buddha is enshrined in the Tissamaharama stupa however a pillar inscription in Kirinda reveals that the tooth relic of the Buddha was also enshrined in the stupa irrespective of the ambiguity of the relics enshrined here the certainty is that this stupa lies on the ground visited by Gautama Buddha along with 500 monks during his third visit to Sri Lanka. The Yatala Vihara is an ancient Buddhist stupa dating back to the 3rd century BCE. Located in Debaravava, the stupa has a beautiful moat surrounding the premises. The wall of the complex has sculpted elephant heads embellishing the perimeter. The building of this stupa is credited to King Yatalatissa, the regional king at the time of Ruhuna. There is also a belief that the stupa was built by King Mahanaga, the father of Yatalatissa, to mark the birth of his son. The relics enshrined here are unknown. but a large number of caskets were discovered in the stupa restoration work of the dagaba commenced in 1883 CE and took a painstaking century to complete a small cleft has been left open to show the different phases of construction ruins of various image houses have been conserved A large Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva image carved from stone is at the northeast area of the terrace. This beautiful dagaba lies along the road a short distance from the Tissa tank and is a striking sight. The Sandagiri stupa is believed to have been built by King Mahanaga in the 3rd century BCE. The dagaba was a part of an ancient monastic complex. It is believed that a rare conch shell was originally placed here, but later transferred and enshrined in the Tissamaharama dagaba. The stupa is built on an elevated area, the Vellimaluva or sand terrace. 
All stone artifacts have been carefully preserved and displayed around the upper area. Flower altars and Buddha statues have been placed at the four predominant points around the Dagaba. The north side flower altar provides an example of exemplary stone workmanship. A stone receptacle used for washing feet and several stone blocks with carved representations of the footprints of the Buddha which were used for worship are placed around the periphery. The current height of the stupa is 18.3 meters while the circumference is 103 meters. Successive renovations change the shape of the Dagaba. It's believed that the stupa originally would have been a much larger structure, maybe even double its current dimensions. The ruins of an ancient Bodhigare can be seen west of the complex. A center cavity clearly indicates the location where the Bodhi tree originally would have been. There are two Bodhi trees adjoining the restored stupa and in the lower compound. Just a short distance from the Yatala stupa, the Manik Vehera or stupa is a smaller structure and was restored in 1894 to its original shape. While some attribute the construction to King Mahanaga, others believe it was constructed by King Dutugamunu. Legend has it that the stone pillar in the premises, referred to as Atta Bendigala, is where King Dutugamunu's elephant, Kadul, was tethered. Sadly, haphazard development and construction over the last few centuries have meant that some of the valuable archaeological artifacts and monuments have either been lost or now reside in adjoining land, all having private ownership. History and Buddhist culture abounds and flourishes in the southern part of the island. Pilgrims making their way to the hallowed area of Kataragama often stop to venerate at some of the stupas in Thissamaharama before continuing their journey onward. <laughs> <laughs>